Whether you're just starting your German learning journey or you've been wandering through the forest of German grammar for a really long time, you'll find a lot of resources online that can help make this path a little easier. Today I'm going to share with you the resources that I use on a regular basis, not just to teach others German, but to also help further my own German learning. No matter how you're learning German, whether you're learning in a traditional classroom or if you're just learning online on your own, you're going to need a dictionary. My recommendation is to use an online dictionary because then it's always with you and you don't have to carry around this giant book. My first recommendation for dictionaries is dict.cc. This is where I personally go whenever I don't know a word. It has everything you need in a good dictionary. Audio files for pronunciation, singular and plural forms of nouns, irregular forms of verbs, and so on. The thing I think it does exceptionally well is the example sentences and phrases. This site has more examples than almost any other dictionary online and is fantastic for idiomatic expressions or even movie titles. You can even download the dictionaries in the languages of your choice for offline use, which I find extremely helpful when traveling or I don't have Wi-Fi. If for some reason you don't like dict.cc, Leo is a good alternative. It still has the audio files and the example sentences and idiomatic expressions that you would expect to find in a dictionary, but there are a few times when there isn't an audio file for something and it relies on computer-generated audio. Also, their mobile app uses data instead of pre-downloaded content. Still, it's a solid dictionary choice for anyone in need, and the app is always installed on my phone. If you're looking for grammar help to go along with your dictionary, Duden is the online resource for this. It is the leading source in everything German grammar and serves as a decent dictionary as well. It's only in German, however, which makes it a little bit difficult for beginners, but great for advanced learners. On this site, you'll find irregular forms of verbs, examples of verb usage, and a lot of cool details that you won't find anywhere else online. Another resource that I use quite often is Lingui. Lingui is a normal dictionary at the surface, but on top of that, it also includes example sentences and then examples of how the word or phrase is used around the web with translations side by side. Be careful, however, as the examples occasionally have errors. I like to keep up on what's going on in the world around me, but I also like to keep up my German skills, so I do both at the same time. I read the news in German, or I watch the news in German. My first recommendation for finding news online is actually to use your phone, which has a built-in app if you're using Android, and you can just swipe left, there you will find a list of news articles. I always recommend that German learners switch their mobile devices into German. This has a bunch of benefits, which I could probably spend an entire video about, but one cool thing is that it customizes the Google feed on Android devices, and it will be switched into German. The sites that are listed then will also be German sites. This feed is somewhat customized from the onset, but over time it will become more and more customized based on your search history and the things that you click on the most. That's why on my feed you see articles about SEO, Germany, and comic books. If you don't want to switch your entire phone into German, you can also download the Google News app and just switch it into German. This app is also available for Apple devices. Or you could just access it online at news.google.com. Deutsche Welle is fantastic for a whole list of reasons. I could spend an entire video talking about just one part of Deutsche Welle's website. But today we are actually talking about the news section of it. Articles here are written in German and a bunch of different other languages, and it gives you a general overview of what's going on around the world. Most of their articles are written for German native speakers, which means that they are relatively difficult to read but you can also find a few versions that are written for German learners, and those are either slowly spoken or just kind of simplified text. Now this next one is gonna sound like I'm either making fun of you or I'm just kind of messing with you, but trust me, it's actually really good. News for Kids, or Nachrichten für Kinder, is a website that is designed by Germans for German children. You won't find daily articles about whatever is going on in the world, but you will find the biggest stories and a variety of fun stories in simple to read German. This is a fantastic site for German learners, and I personally use it every year in my German classes. Of course, there are also traditional media that's online. You can find things like Der Spiegel, or Bild, or Süddeutsche Zeitung, just to name a few. My recommendation would be to start with the Google News app and keep track of which sites you go to most often. Then you can skip the Google News feed and go straight to the source. 
In addition to just reading news in German, I suggest reading something that you just enjoy reading, and there are a bunch of different places you can do this for free online. First up, we have Slow German, or the Slow German Podcast. This website has been a staple in German learning classrooms all over the world for a really long time now. Each article explains something about German culture in German. It comes with text and audio. For a small fee, you can also access extra materials to go with the podcast and really take this to the next level. Slow German is also available as a YouTube channel now, so you can get the podcast there too. Learn with Oliver is another fantastic website. There is a bunch more stuff on there than just reading text, but what I really like is that you can take normal text from anywhere around the web, use their text analyzer, and you can use whatever text it is to learn German. You can choose from a variety of texts already loaded into the site, or you can have it analyze an external text. It then populates a list of vocabulary that you don't know from the article and turns them into flashcards. Then you can use this list with their awesome vocabulary practice tools. If you want a full review of this site, you can find that linked in the description. Google Books is another one that I think gets overlooked a lot. People seem to think that you have to pay for all of the books on there, but all you really have to do is click the little button that says free, and then just read all of the free ebooks that are there. You can find a ton of older texts in German for free. This includes classic works from Kafka and the Brothers Grimm. Now, if you just want to read Grimm fairy tales, there's a website called Grimm Stories, and on that site you'll find basically every Grimm fairy tale ever written. You can also find it in a ton of different languages. You can compare them side by side, English on one side, German on the other. If all of that reading is going to make you sleepy, there are a few options that are also just fun to do. First up, we have Babadom, which not only is a fun word to say, it's also a fantastic website. It takes the most popular words in a variety of languages and uses a combination of text and images to gamify the vocabulary learning experience. It's a great way to pass the time. I personally find their images to be fun and entertaining, even if they can be a little inappropriate at times. I'm pretty sure that certain viewers would kill me if I didn't include Duolingo on this list. Duolingo has actually grown really well in the last several years. It used to be a little bit wonky, and it didn't have all of that much grammar on it, but nowadays it's actually really, really good. I've made fun of it in the past, but it has improved considerably over the last few years. It includes more grammar lessons than before, which was one of my major complaints. It really has grown into a valuable resource for German learners, and I still find it fun to play around with. Someday I'll get around to making a new and updated review of Duolingo, but not today. Many people suggest that you can learn a foreign language without learning grammar. I personally am just not one of those people. I think you need the grammar, and especially if you're an adult. Children learn really well with immersion type situations. Adults, on the other hand, like tables and logic and patterns. So here are a few recommendations that I have for the best online grammar resources. First up, GermanWithAntrum.com. This may be a bit self-serving, but I'm okay with that. I make a lot of lessons about grammar on this YouTube channel, but I also create extras to go with those lessons, which I upload to my website. You can buy some of them on an individual basis, but you can also get a ton of them for free. Every lesson I upload comes with a worksheet, answer key, and an MP3 download. For beginners, I would recommend my ebook, Beginner German with Herr Antrim. Links for that in the description. Nancy Tulin is a legend in online grammar resources. You will be very hard pressed to find a German teacher who does not know what this website is. Students, on the other hand, can use it as well. I've used her worksheets in my classes since day one. She has worksheets for every grammar lesson you will ever learn. A lot of them will have answer keys as well. If you want more practice on a particular lesson, this is the place to go. After you stop by my site, of course. German is easy. No, this isn't a joke. This is actually the title of the website. German is easy. This site has a ton of grammar lessons as well, but it has one thing that a lot of other sites don't have. Sarcasm. Lots and lots of sarcasm. This site takes a delightfully snarky look at German grammar and vocabulary. It's a joy to read, and it is by far one of my favorite places to learn about German grammar and vocabulary. Mein Deutschbuch. This website is only available in German, so it's not great for beginners, but it is awesome for anyone who wants to dive deep into German grammar. As the name implies, it basically functions as an online grammar textbook. You will find articles about every grammar topic there is. Another website that has a ton of resources is Grimm Grammar. It is run by the University of Texas at Austin. Each grammar lesson comes with a Grimm fairy tale. The grammar is then woven into the story, and you can practice what you're learning by reading Grimm fairy tales. It's a great way to combine reading and grammar. 
A great resource that I use when writing scripts for this YouTube channel is Dartmouth College's website. It's a very thorough website with a ton of helpful information. The explanations include pretty much everything you'll need to know about any topic you choose. I find it helpful as a checklist to make sure that I've included everything about a topic while writing scripts. In case you didn't know, I'm not the only YouTuber who makes videos about learning German. There are a ton of fantastic channels out there for this. I'm not one of those people who sees these other channels as competition. They're making videos with the same goal as me, to teach you German. If you don't understand it from my point of view, try Katya's, Jenny's, or Anya's. If you don't understand their version, try my channel. If you want a list of my top recommendations for channels, you can find that linked in the description. This video is by no means an exhaustive list of resources that you can use to learn German. You can find other resources and my reviews of them right over here. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!